So how does mindfulness impact on our goals then? Well, again, let's just imagine that here we are in the now and we've got our, our future goal, which is the checkered flag. With mindfulness, mindfulness doesn't mean you know not setting goals. Mindfulness helps us to create balance between the goals and the way to the goals. So it actually helps us to pay more attention in the present moment and enjoying the journey. So if we think of our flashlight, we're pointing our flashlight to the future goal. We've got our focus on the goal, but our focus isn't entirely on the goal. We actually got a balance so we can enjoy the present moment as well. So it doesn't mean that you're not setting goals or that you just live in the moment. It's about the balance. Some research has actually shown that achieving some of our static goals, like getting the house or the car or the million dollars, actually doesn't make a lasting contribution on our happiness. And, uh, you know, often such goals actually only set to strengthen a certain identity, which is something we're going to be talking about more in a future session. Now, dynamic goals, on the other hand, are not unique circumstances, but rather a process that requires constant attention and attention and commitment. Example like learning how to play the piano or doing sports or you know, leading a project. So here the doing in and of itself is also a goal. And these goals actually lead to longer and more lasting happiness. This is actually especially true if the goal increases our relatedness to other people and so mindfulness teaches us to reflect on intention to be aware of why we strive for the particular goal so what is our why for what purpose do we want this goal do you want to be a writer because you want to be famous or do you want to be a writer because you want to inspire other people through your writing Writing to become famous or important is the static goal. Whereas writing to inspire other people is a more dynamic goal. So mindfully setting our goals actually increases the effectiveness. Planning and goal setting are often required to effectively reach our goals. And so by consciously setting the goal, we can actually choose to, to go ahead, set the goal, and come back to the present moment. Be in the here and the now. And so we use our mind to jump into the future and return back in moment to moment. And by reminding yourself of the goal and then returning to the moment, it's more likely that you'll actually achieve the goal. So the attention can be fully focused on the act in the moment instead of the thoughts about the purpose or about the gap between now and the goal. So if we, again, use this example of writing, the act of writing the article rather than the looming deadline. So when your attention is fully focused on the writing, then it's likely that the writing will be even faster and more effective. And we get less distracted then by any negative thoughts in the worry and, oh, what if this isn't good? What if I don't finish it on time, etc.? Mindfully setting the goal also leads to less anxiety. Remember, anxiety is a fear of the future. And fear is simply false expectations or false evidence appearing to be real. If we notice that anxiety is present, we can simply let it be. Remember, anxiety is purely an illusion. It's a thought about some undesirable future event, which is just created in our mind. It becomes a fear of not having something that we think that we need. Anxiety is never a thought about, you know, things going the way that you want it to be. So you can never win with anxiety or fearful thoughts of the future. Because this beauty of our mind is it can always come up with different thoughts. So if I think, okay, well, I'm going to do it that way. Well, then the unconscious mind can just think, okay, but... What if that happens? Or what if that happens? Or what if that happens? And so they'll always come with this counter argument as to why something might not work out the way that you want. 
So anxiety very often controls thoughts and therefore our actions. And mindfulness teaches us to recognize that the anxiety is there without wanting to get rid of it. And you can repeatedly choose to go back to the moment and step out of this train of anxious thoughts just by seeing the anxiety as being there, accepting it, and just become the observer of it. So you accept the feeling of anxiety that you experience in the moment, and then you remain there with your attention. Instead of spending energy trying to control the anxiety, you simply notice it for what it is. Notice, it's okay. Let it be there. See what happens. Just learn from it and tell yourself, it's just a thought. It's not the truth. So mindfulness also helps us to have more gratitude. Instead of always looking ahead at what's still to come, mindfulness teaches us to reflect on what is. It also allows us to change in relationship to things and to circumstances. So the focus is not primarily directed as to what still needs to be done and you know what might be missing, but actually on what is there in the here and the now. And if more attention is paid to the path to the goal, it's also easier to see what is in this moment and what this moment has to offer. And the moment contributes much more than just a building block for the specific goal. By being less busy with the result and being more in the moment, it's easier to be aware of maybe some sub-goals that you've achieved on the way to your ultimate goal and appreciating each moment for what it is.